hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening i don't know what time we're seeing this how you're doing hope you're doing great and hope you're staying safe so today is election gang 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 i don't know what time you'll be seeing this but by the time you see this i know election would have ended so how far i did not carry along as i was going for that election thing because i was just rushing i said i want to be amongst the first set of people that will vote so i can come back and write so i went initially wrote my number wrote my name down then came back showered went back again and now voted see i voted i'm very obedient i voted all through presidential law senatorial law and the other one i voted labor party all true so i don't know that this is even allowed are we supposed to say we? yes i voted labor party they should come and do whatever they want to do after all the president showed us who he voted for so please i'm allowed to do whatever i want to do since this country is lawless abby so how is election going at your own end i came back home now i just want to eat and then rest a little then go back again and see how far high it is going so for my polling unit um the INEC officials they came on time they came at about eight ten. no i think they came about maybe let's say eight o'clock because i went there by seven wrote my name came back home to do so just like organize myself again then i got there by eight thirty eight thirty one and by the time i was there the INEC officials had already set up everything. So I'm guessing that they came like around maybe Miller I left. That was like around seven. Miller I left. That was when they came. So so far my um pulling unit, everybody is actually <laughs> behaving themselves because you cannot do any high. If you do any high, you see any high my pulling unit do. I'm voting here in Abuja. You do any high, you see any high my unit. So everybody is organized everybody is everything is just going on well, if you ask me. So we actually gave um preference to pregnant women so if you're pregnant even if you came last if you're just coming you shall just go and vote so that you can go home then um it's organized but the only issue i have is that the presiding officer they did not explain things to people when they started like they just came and just started so later when we realized that people were making mistake one guy now had to just explain things to everybody like this is what you're supposed to do this is what you're not supposed to do and that's how it has been sha so let me rest a little i'll go back there um so far i've just been on twitter seeing what's going on and i think some places are fair some places are not fair i um i was watching arise tv and seeing what's going on in some states then they showed that of um voting of um um what's his name asiwajibola tinubu his his this thing was very rowdy if you ask me um i missed that of article peter obi peter obi was actually following the queue he did not even break protocol that guy yes yeah i don't know but that guy is just so humble because i don't see myself doing that i'm sorry i'm just going to be very realistic here like i'm a presidential candidate i'm not gonna be standing on the queue for you guys hey i'm uh, that kind of humble well maybe maybe i can do it i don't know but uh, yeah hey i don't know sure so peter will be actually followed the queue voted with his fine wife oh his wife is pretty then that's all of them um, so god that place was i don't understand wait first let me even sit up very well first and talk about this kwan so on like what was that was that an election like the place was too rowdy i was even scared for him like i scared for him in the sense that what did someone come and kill this man it's not be another thing abby nah it was too too rowdy for my liking then the news that i'm hearing from social media um kogi state see yeah, kogi state governor kogi state governor i don't know what is wrong with that man no yahaya below in case you come across this video <laughs> I'm really embarrassed because when you were coming for governorship, when you were coming to be governor, I was really proud of you being that you're a young guy, you're a youth and all of that. But from what you're doing now, hey, I'm disappointed. You need to do better. You need to do better, basically. So the news coming from there has not been so good. I don't know that they're old videos, but I think... I want, I, although it's late now, Shai, because by the time you see this video, it's going to be late. I would have said I would have appealed to people, if you're putting out videos, they should put, actually put a timestamp and date to it so that we get to know which is fake and which is not fake. 
But well, we are going to be fine at the end of the day. Let me rest a little, then I'll go to my pulling unit. It's just a stone throw. I'll go to my pulling unit and see whether we delivered. My pulling unit, I know we're going to deliver or be. I'm very sure about that. My fear is all that pulling units. What's up with them? Ah, this election, eh? It's just God. Whoever gets to win as president, the only thing I'll do is if the scene is not favoring me, maybe that is when I'm not considering Japa from this country. <laughs> not funny i don't want to leave nigeria that's just the honest truth i want to still stay in this country i love my country nigeria but we will shall survive anybody that gets to win at the end of the day will support the person will do our best we just hope that the person does his or her own best as well is there any female presidential candidate ah, i don't know women supporting women let me know in the comment section do, do, do we have any women female president which is women presidential do we have any female presidential candidates if there is no next election people should come and vote for because i will come out said, let me be the first <sighs> but wait do i think i know notice that and i not even think about it ha <sighs> it's okay so let's just keep our fingers crossed if you've not voted why didn't you vote kilo day kilo shelle how was your pulling you was it peaceful was it free and fair did you observe anything did you notice anything did anybody try to give you money i even saw it on those states that they're giving dollar when i even saw it i was like eh, even if they're giving dollar it's even okay at least i think i convert dollar hundred dollar to naira that's like what's come to worst let's say seventy eight thousand naira at least it is even better not like the five five thousand they were giving people or one thousand that they'll give you for complete eight years even if it's seventy eight thousand naira. but from what i heard sir the dollar kokuma and a fake dollar so why would you even hey we know see poverty is a bastard poverty is a bastard like hi you now collect fake dollar just so that you can vote someone else then when you want to go and change the money you do not tell you ah madam oh god this thing a fake dollar how do you feel within you don't you feel betrayed so why do you even start that process in the first place well poverty as i said is a bastard so see you later let me rest a little and go to my pulling unit. Hi, hey, ready? So this is like, let me see. Okay, see so two thirty thereabout. So I'm heading to my pulling unit to go and count because I'm guessing that voting will soon end. I need to be there. I need to see how they're counting it so that I'll make sure that I deliver my pulling unit to Pitobi. So now I voted. I think by nine, by ten. I voted by ten. I stayed a while, then came back home to freshen up again, and then I'm heading back there. Let's go. People are still almost done with the election. This man is not of guys so um i'm done voting since i had to go back there for the whole counting the whole process and all of that because i needed to be sure that i delivered my polling unit to be and got so good yes my polling um, unit we won 290 peter will be had 290 the closest was i think apc with 38 votes there about pdp had 18 votes and that's how it went on so i'm happy about that like i can see the happiness in people's faces like the election of who they want 
as their choice for president. I don't know what's going on in the north so far. There's been no news, no report of their results from in the north. And that's the problem we've always had. We in the south would always put out our results there. And the next thing, the north would just spring up with figures that you'll be wondering, where are these people from? Where did they come from? Which north? Eh? It's not the same north that I've gone to. Where did these people come from? That's the problem we're having. So I won't be surprised with the results I get from the north or we get from the north. Well, as I said before, let the best person win. Yes, we know the best person that we should win, but at the same time, you know that this rigging thing is something else. Look at what's happening in Lagos State. If you want a free and fair election, why are you using talks? If you say you must win this election, why are you using talks? What's the essence of it? Like, it makes no sort of sense at all. But we are hoping in God, we're hoping on God to just show himself because we are really tired as a nation i'm really tired of the state of things in this country so i so i forgot to actually mention that it almost rained here and <laughs> labor party people like obedience were like whether it rains whether it doesn't rain we will stay here it means i was ready for the rain to soak me soak me and soak me tired and also the good thing is that labor parties can because of obi um they get to win people from that I wonder that Labour Party for Senatorial and House of Reps were well represented. They had so much votes. And I'm happy about that. Let me know what's up with your own polling unit. I'll keep giving you updates on maybe after the whole election or the, what's going on. I think the INEC chairman has said the election continues tomorrow for areas that um, there were no elections or whatsoever. Lagos, I think there should actually be a complete rerun in Lagos State because it makes no sense what's going on there. So, take care of you. And peace out. Bye. I'm tired. I need to rest. <laughs>